in Germany, we don't say, Oh my God, Liam, how are you feeling after your half marathon? I'm absolutely knackered. That was brutal. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. We say, Nur die harten kommen Garten. Sport ist Mord. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how you looked like. Yeah, just oh, that, that know, was not a finished. pretty sight. Oh no, I felt so bad for you. Yeah, it was tough. But oh. you've done very well though. Yeah. Like it's not that you run super slow or something. No, it wasn't slow, but I did this two years ago. Yeah. And I ran five minutes faster than I did this time. I know. So you're... in 2022, I ran one hour, 46 minutes and a half. And, and this, this time I run one hour, 51 minutes, 55 seconds. Yeah. You're I was a bit happy. disappointed, but it was, it was still a good feeling to finish. I still think you should be super proud that you finished like, you know, faster than, than two hours as well. So yeah, I said that I would never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> you did. And I bet you still got to do it again. <laughs> yeah. 21 K. That's not too bad. <laughs> We've done worse. Yeah, we've done worse, but not running. I no, feel like running. for the run, and you have to consider that the run you've done is not just like, you know, you, you have to run hills like up and down. Yeah, so. it was very hilly. Hilly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> es steigt. <laughs> es steigt? <laughs> <laughs> no? No, I don't think so. Okay. Anstieg. Anstieg. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, tough. Some, especially in the end, it was going up quite a lot. Yeah, you looked absolutely fat out when you finished. Yeah, and then after they gave you like fruits and nuts. Yeah, and quark. <laughs> and quark. <laughs> quark and nuts. I and was fruits. pouring so much like quark on top. Yeah, and then you couldn't even eat it. Oh, yeah. you had to sit down. Yeah. It was cute though. It was good. Yeah, it was tough walking in the next couple of days, but. I thought it would be so much worse. Like, I expected you to be like just lying down on the sofa, even on the day. But you you looked quite okay, to be honest. I mean, the worst was going down steps. I really felt it in the joints. Okay. But w like walking on flat surfaces was okay. It was, yeah, because you looked fine. Like, I don't know. Like, you didn't just lie down on the sofa for the whole day or like, you know, Damn maybe it. do things. I didn't make the most of this. I didn't yeah, get you, you to have, do exactly. stuff for me. You could have. You, I, was, I was expecting that once you're home, you would stretch you would have a shower, you would go to the sofa and never move again. <laughs> <laughs> I was mentally prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next time I do full marathon so that you have to do everything for me. So afterwards. you said you wouldn't do a half marathon again because of the feeling you had in the end, but you would now go for the full marathon. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine the pain. It's like twice as far. Yeah. That is mad. But I do think if it was in like a nice city... And you had, you know, you got the crowd, yeah. you would get through it. You don't have a crowd, do you? It's just in the beginning and in the end. Or were there For the one I did? Yeah. Well, yeah, because it was a dwarf. Yeah, I know. I was, <laughs> I was waiting at the finish line. Yeah, that was nice. Came like 30 minutes before you <laughs> arrived. <laughs> so my red sweaty face at the end. No, it wasn't that bad. You keep saying that, but I don't think you get that red when you are exhausted. No. I kept saying that when you were playing basketball as well. But there were, yeah, there was no crowd. So it was all no like well. your intern. Uh, there was a few, like you'd go through some of the villages and okay. then there would be people. There were just people knowing that the yeah. route would go through their village. Yeah, yeah. it was wow. like a year, big year event for that village, probably. It's like the highlight. It's not. We've got, <laughs> we've got one more highlight and it's in September. <laughs> And we all know, know about it. The Volksfest. <laughs> the Volksfest. Exactly. But second is then the half marathon for I'm those. I'm not sure if it is. You know, I was kind of expecting more people at like the start and finish area, but it was quite okay. There were a lot of people there, but yeah. how was the last time when you've been two years ago? Yeah, it was okay. It was a bit more, I don't know, it was more organized because literally um, I had no idea what was going on this time. Really? And they said like, it was like, we didn't know when it was starting exactly. At nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but everyone was just standing there and then there were like 10 seconds to go. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and we all got in position. You were like, quick, warm up, warm up. We've got 10 seconds. <laughs> but you did yeah. start at nine o'clock then, didn't you? Yeah, roundabout. Oh, okay. Ooh. The first one started at nine o'clock. Making yeah. sure there was no delay. Yeah. That would break my heart. <laughs> but nice. we have hiked a, a full marathon before. 
We've hiked 44k before. Yeah. That was in a one bad day. decision. <laughs> you can explain this because it was your, you planned that trip. Oh, that is mean that I have to now explain it. <laughs> okay, so Liam and I are going hiking usually like a couple times per year. And we like to hike up high, mo high mountains. So we said, let's go up to the Zugspitze, which is the highest mountain in Germany. Yeah. And I don't know why, but Liam kind of trusted me to find the best route. And I did not because we started far down in the village as well. Right so, at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Yeah. Exactly. We so, wasn't taking any of the cars. No, we haven't. No cable, cable cars, cars or trains going up there as well because it's super touristic. Yeah. So we started at the, at the bottom and I don't think I realized that it's like a solid 10k until you finally make it until you actually have to go up. Yeah. So that was, I think, quite a stretch already. And then we went up and our idea was to hike all the way up and then take the train down to save time. Obviously, it's not possible then to do it in one day. And I think we hiked for, um, yeah, the 22K, let's say. And then there's a hut. And I checked when the last train would go down. And that was in like two hours or something. <laughs> And I think the sign from that hut to the top of the Zugspitze is set already two and a half hours. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we're not going to make the last train then. It's so quite we, likely that I wouldn't have made the last bit in two and a half hours as well. We were, or I was quite exhausted already. Yeah. Yeah. So then we decided to turn around oh, and we got, went all the way back. That was mad. And uh, what? how long was it in total, the time? I think the total hiking time was 12 hours something plus the break we did at the hut. It was like, I think we've done an hour break or something Yeah. at the hut. And uh, we've been on the way for like 13 hours something. And then what was it? 44k? 44k it said, yeah. That was that mad That was though. insane. That was mad. But on the next day we didn't even feel as bad. I expected us to be like not able to walk or anything. Yeah. But it was stupid. I don't know why I thought that would be a good route to do. <laughs> I, I re honestly, don't let me plan the yeah, hiking trips Yeah, ever since anymore. I've always been like a bit on edge when you plan <laughs> the hikes. <laughs> I mean, for a good reason. That was mental. Yeah. So I think now we like Oops. alternate. You pick one, I pick one kind of thing. Well, that's yeah. It. Yeah. And every time I pick one, you kind of make sure you double check. <laughs> yeah. Uh, send yeah. me the route again. <laughs> <laughs> or it should look like an easyish route so nothing can go wrong or even if we choose the wrong path then the pain isn't too big i guess yeah yeah but we always end up hiking I more know. than we should <laughs> i know but often it's the dogs to blame because often we have to kind of go a different way just because there is like a ladder or like something where you just have to i don't know climb for two meters which isn't hard for us yeah. but we are a bit conscious about the docks, I guess. Yeah, we've had some hikes where there's been like a klettersteig or... Yeah, but we wouldn't do the klettersteig anyway. Oh, no, yeah, but Can't. like a little... Yeah, Just like, like a you ladder. said, a ladder. Yeah. Can't and carry the docks yeah, on our back like a backpack. Like, they're 25 nice. kilos each. Like, <laughs> what are you expecting? Come on, then, carry the docks. So we've never... Yeah, we just didn't make it and we just went all the way back. Yeah. yeah. For the Zugspitze. Well, the, just other yeah. hikes as well. I think you, one time we went back when it was like a day trip we've done yep. to Bavaria, I think. Um, but I think usually we found different paths. You remember one time we had to like walk around the mountain first and then go yes. up from the different from a different I side. I remember that. Yeah. Where was that? Do you know? No idea. Don't remember. I was going to see if you've got any hi hiking spots you can advise. But then everyone's going there and we're not in peace anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, the favorite one we're doing is around Innsbruck, isn't it? Yeah, there's an in amazing Austria. one in Innsbruck. Yeah. I think it's called the Schaffhegelkugel Loop. You have to Google top 10 hikes in Innsbruck <laughs> and you'll find it. It's like number one. Yeah, it's like three peaks as well. Yeah. Like you're pretty much like just on top the whole time. It's like probably. a 17k yeah. loop. Going... Is it a bit more? I feel like it might have been 20. Okay, yeah. Might have, Yeah, maybe something. But we've done it twice and it's like... It's the only the one. It's the only we've one repeated. we've done twice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's definitely the best hike we've ever yeah. done. It's very calm because there are no cable cars, so it's not that touristic. No. Because you can't go up by cable car. So you don't see that many people. 
you see the little screaming animals, whatever they are called in English. <laughs> no, <laughs> Murmeltier. Oh, yeah. Is it a um, Murmeltier? Ich schlafe wie ein Murmeltier. Oh, yeah. Isn't that exactly. a saying? Yeah. I sleep like a baby, but not. <laughs> but not, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but not. <laughs> yeah, so that's very nice. We can recommend that one. Yeah. And we've been to, what's the the sea there in Bavaria? We've been to a lake. Ipsy. Ipsy. Um Have we been to another one? I don't remember, actually. Where they, we got controlled with the... Wait, what? Well, there was someone in the mountains. Oh, Tegernsee. Tegernsee. Oh, That's the place that I was, was thinking of. Yeah, that was like the most... That was cute, though. Because there was... We started hiking up and we've got the dogs with us. And... Um, yeah, they were just like running around and they were allowed to do as well. <laughs> so they were allowed to be off the leash there. But there was then a guy, like an older guy who's in charge of kind of like taking care of everything is going well there. Yeah. No one is damaging the woods or whatever. And he just came and asked so politely if it would be okay to put the dogs on the leash. And we were a bit like, mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> like didn't know what he wanted. And then he gave us like a 30 minute speech yeah. about like... The chickens up there and that they are the scared birds. and so stupid. Yeah, some kind of the bird. Species. Yeah, yeah, it was funny. He gave us like a long, long speech, like kind of justify why he would appreciate the dogs being on the leash. Yeah. And then we had them on the leash the whole time because we felt bad for all the birds and the guy. <laughs> and we saw him on the route the whole time. And on the way back, there was a huge snowstorm at the top. Yeah, not yeah, exactly. We yeah. had a snowstorm. Like even when we hiked further up, we had to go through like I don't know a meter of snow. Like yeah. remember that I actually dropped at some point. Like <laughs> you were so annoyed. It was awful. <laughs> like it's you know you see pictures of hike like hikes and you're like oh yeah it's always worth the view and like we had no view like it was super cold up there. We actually stayed on top of the mountain for like three minutes or something yeah. just because it was just not nice to be there <laughs> there was no view i'm not sure if it was worth the hike up yeah but that area was nice T the area was very nice that's true yeah yeah and the guy was very nice <laughs> <laughs> and then there was when we were already on the way down you remember that there was this older woman like who was hiking up by herself and she was like mm, you think there's snow up there oh, and like yeah. she was this tiny very skinny true. woman and i was like well, it's a nightmare up there. I'm not sure if she should be there, like, by herself. <laughs> but I feel like she kept going for a bit and yeah. she just said she would return at some whoever, point. Wh whoever knows what happened to her. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad. Oh, I hope she's fine. <laughs> that was mad. She, like, nothing could have stopped her, I think. No. She, we had a proper chat with her <laughs> on this, like, swinging bench. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but hiking's quite a thing, isn't it? Yeah, we like to and hike. And going for long walks? Yeah. Well, I, I'm not even sure if it's long walks necessarily. But I but feel like go walking. For like is 20 like, minutes, would you? It's not considered a long walk, Liam. 20 minute walk. What is that? Like, no, exactly. It's like it's either a, a decent amount or it's nothing, right? It wouldn't just be like a little stroll. You wouldn't go for a five minute Spaziergang <laughs> kind of thing, I guess. But. Like a Sonntag Spaziergang, yeah. like an hour to, you know, get moving, yeah. get your steps in, get some fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. Uh, of course it's a thing. <laughs> of course it is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> is there not a thing in England at all, you think? I, w I wouldn't know many people if you'd be like, yeah, let's just go out for an hour, go for a walk. And they'd just like willingly do it. I don't know if that's a... Or the people I know anyway. There probably are in like nicer areas of the country where you can actually go in nature, <laughs> not in like industrial, urban yeah, place. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Where you can actually see some nice things. Yeah. But I don't know many people. That I think would just... we do it for the purpose of walking and not just like seeing nice things. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, especially if you didn't have a dog, I would probably yeah, wouldn't true. know anyone who would do it. I often wonder if we haven't, had the dog if we wouldn't have the dogs would we then go for a walk because i find it a bit like for myself as like one person saying oh yeah i just go out for a walk and then then i'm just walking i even think that's a bit 
I don't know if I would do it. You would definitely find other activities for us to do. As a couple, I yeah. kind of think a walk is still something because you walk and you chat and, you know. But would you, as like just Liam, think, oh yeah, I'm going to get my steps in, going to go for a one hour walk? I feel like after living here, I would. Because <laughs> now it's in your brain. Yeah. You've been brainwashed by us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, it's something about getting fresh air. I probably would run more. I don't know. True. You do say that because you work a lot. And sometimes when I don't work as much as you do and I've got time, I offer to take the dogs. And like even if, you know, yeah. if we could walk together, I would say, nah, I can do it. And you just chill or keep working, whatever. And sometimes, like often you actually say, nah, I want to get the fresh air in. Yeah, and it's just you, good. It's you good go you. out, we walk the dogs and you actually do the deep breath. Like, <sighs> yeah. I definitely appreciate air more after living in germany <laughs> do you <laughs> yeah in the house outside in the walks yeah you're proper german now you even got the sticks for the hikes i did get the sticks really professional sticks. ones too i i mean <laughs> i'm not sure if you would have if you knew that like 15 meters further you would get them for like a third of the price yeah, i was like let's get these they could be handy for content and see how they actually help yeah. the walking and then I think there were a decent amount of money. It was quite a lot. And yeah. then uh, we literally walked like a few shops down and they were selling them on sale for like 10 euros. I don't even think they were on sale. I feel like they just sold them for like 10, 15 euros in yeah. like any, every other shop. And I but was like, oh, who no. knows? They might have like snapped after the first use. Yeah, maybe. But at the same time, I don't think you use them. Yeah, as I probably much don't get the value yeah. for them. But. Um, Next weekend, that's true. Next weekend, you're actually going for a two-day hike. Yeah. Without me. <laughs> yeah, finally. No. <laughs> finally, we, we there's a chance. We that won't you... get lost. <laughs> rude. So rude. <laughs> you're not getting lost because you actually have a guide. Yeah, it's a guided. Rude. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm diving into this experience. I'm seeing it as like a, uh, it's part of work. Wow, you're gonna hand I'm in the studying. travel cost to yourself. <laughs> you're like, yeah, this was a business trip. <laughs> Check. Where where are you going again? I'm not gonna say it. Wow. The country? In Austria. Oh okay. But I don't wanna say that actually. <laughs> I don't even know if I can say it. I've forgotten it. I was gonna say, are you not saying it because you don't know it? <laughs> you don't remember where you're going. <laughs> yeah, that's cool though. I'm gonna and I can't wait to hear the experience of a mixed group of strangers going for a joint hike yeah, for two days. It's going to be an experience. You're going to stay at the hut, I think. Yes. First time for you First as well. time staying at one of the huts on the mountain. Nice. Yeah, good food though. They always got good food. I love the huts there. Same. I like the vibe. Kaiser Schmann. You are a huge fan, aren't you? Every time I have... If a hut doesn't do Kaiser Schmann, I'm so... Guide. Yes, you are. So sad every time. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Can't wait to hear what you've got to, you know, the stories you're bringing back from that. But you was in Switzerland, speaking of I, other countries. Speaking of other countries, Austria and Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, I've been in Switzerland for work. Nice. Yeah. And? Good. I mean, I love the colleagues there. So uh, Switzerland is, for me, is like just over the border. And then there is the side. So I'm not seeing too much of Switzerland. But, you know, if you go there, everyone is quite chilled. And, okay. you know, Swiss people are just a bit more chilled. <laughs> <laughs> Those I know anyway. Yeah. But, yeah, it's always it's always good to be there. And, you know, it always feels a bit like you have to slow down. The way they speak is always like I have to focus a lot on... On the dialect. Yeah. Can I mean, some... It? I, I can't say a word. I've got no idea what they're saying as well. <laughs> like, there are some colleagues who are actually trying quite hard, I think. So I understand, let's say, 80%, even though with their dialect. There are some colleagues I just think, whatever you said, yep. <laughs> uh, well, I really hope he's not listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he is. Yeah, no, I, I, I really like him. He's a, he's a great, great guy. He's a good colleague. Um, and he's so much fun. But when we had a chat in the evening at dinner and he just told a story and I think he got a bit carried away. So he didn't focus on that I'm actually German and not Swiss. <laughs> and I, I just realized how I was just looking at him. And I was like, yep, 
like pff, I understand let's say 20% and I just kind of hope I get the point do the classic nod <laughs> yeah yep. I literally I was th I was sitting there and I was thinking wow this is how Liam feels you literally like, you're looking in like someone's face and you're just like nodding smiling and I mean I think the worst part is when no one is around so you can't kind of copy other people's reactions yeah because like I kind of had, had to figure out when so to you laugh. could have literally said my cat died and you'd be like yep <laughs> no yep <laughs> I actually don't think it was that bad. Like, I would have gotten that part. But in general, I was just like, mm hmm yeah, no idea what you're saying, but yeah. It's like me in the B1 test, probably. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but I really felt like this is what Liam's going through every time. I mean, now it's not that bad. Well, like, just with <clears throat> normal dialect here. Yeah. It's it's okay. Oh yeah, if people are if like was... having strong dialects over here, it's tough. Oh I guess. yeah, 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 big time. Even here, it was like yes, uh, the other day, I was with a group of uh, like with the thick Schwabish, or well, what's the accent here? Like Hohenlohisch. Hohenlohisch. <laughs> I guess I don't know where they're from. But... There's a lot of ish at the yeah. end of uh, <laughs> le and ish at the end of everything. Bissler. Chisler. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Bissler? Chisler? Yeah, it's a I mean, lot of that. And that was tough. Really? I was just doing a lot of nodding and just copying other people. Yeah. But even when I moved here in this area, when I moved from Leipzig over here, and I worked a lot with like older people, so they had like stronger accents, I think, or dialects, I was like, nah, I really didn't understand what you're saying. And we are literally speaking the same language. <laughs> But I feel like different dialects can be tough if you're not used to the language. Yeah. I mean, what accents do you struggle with in English? Like, Scot what's uh, Scottish, Scottish? probably. Irish? Definitely Irish, Scottish. I, I mean, I what what is the accent I don't like? But I do understand, oh, but I don't like. Um, is it Liverpool? Is it like... I'm not uh, sure. Is that like the... the yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't want to say it, but we're watching Love Island UK at the moment. Or the memes. The trash TV. And, uh, it's very trashy. But it's always good drama. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just watching that to study the language. You just get such a mix of accents. It's funny though. On that show. But there's one accent I really can't stand. Like, I, I don't know which one it is though. Yeah. I'm not going to offend someone, so we've got to keep it to ourselves <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. It's tough, isn't it? It is tough. Okay, so you had a good time then, Switzerland? I mean, it was literally one night. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even 48 hours. I left here at like 6.30 and I was back at like 4.30 or something the next day. <laughs> like, and it was hardly Switzerland as well. <laughs> but yeah, I always like the vibe and I always like going down there. And you go through the Black Forest area-ish on the way. So I always think that would be worth for, if you don't want to hike up, you just want to hike in general, I feel like that would be very nice. So like for us, it would be for autumn or spring when it's still very snowy on the mountains. I yeah. think we should go there once. Yeah. It looks very, very nice when That's you're true. You know, on the way there. That is true. We One love, day. We love a good hike. We do. And yet we haven't been this year. I know. It's July and we haven't been. We're going to miss the window mm. to go. When can we go? Last weekend of July, maybe. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're potentially going to Mallorca yep, soon. True. Wait, we might have, we might be Whilst there when this podcast the, yeah. releases. Yeah. Yeah. It's our, both of our first times there as well. Yep. Never been before. Same. Obviously, you always hear about the Balaman. The Balaman, that it's, you know, a lot of Germans like to go there. Yeah. A lot of British people like to go there. I am so shocked because I kind of feel like Mallorca is part of Germany. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, obviously it isn't, but the Ballermann area seems very German to me. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I was reading up, like, they have restaurants, they're all speaking German, and, like, they have German food and stuff. We don't even have to leave this country, but why are we yeah. even going there? Like, it's not even, we're not even, you know, experiencing something different. But it's not for long. It's literally just for content, basically. Yeah, it is for content. It is, it is a business trip, guys. Yeah. It's, it's the hard work. life. It's a business always, trip. Workation. Workation. At least you say workation. I told one of my colleagues I'm going on a business trip to Mallorca <laughs> and they just cracked. I was like, oh, yeah, wow. it is a joke, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, watch out for that. 
watch out for content. that. <laughs> Mallorca content. Oh my god. Yeah, but it, I think it'd be nice because it's not a long trip. You, we can just see yeah. how it is, and then we can uh, get ideas for future. The next trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be good. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just imagine it being quite wild in Mallorca. But just at the Balaman, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't think everything else is that. I mean, it's still a nice island and okay. other people are going, not just Germans. So that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> cool. You might be a bit overwhelmed with like Beer König and Mega Park and stuff like the very, you yeah. know, the place to be. <laughs> okay. We'll get into more of that in the next episode then. When we've actually, How is, when we've if actually you, been. If you make it, you're yeah. like, I can't talk about this. <laughs> you will be crumbling in the corner, like oh. Yeah, like shaking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would be the proper cultural shock. Fair. Yeah, look forward Fair. to that. Mallorca talk. Mallorca talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just time now that we experience that, so we know what people are talking about. I feel like it's the right time. <laughs> <laughs> in Mallorca, we say Schlager. Uber others? <laughs> Do we? Or at Balaman we say that, I guess. Yeah, Balaman. Okay. The Balaman. Yeah. Talking about in Mallorca we say, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is this transition? <laughs> that could be your new format. <laughs> Joking. I mean, German sayings is a big reason that the content, you know, took off a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like in Germany, we don't say it was like my, probably, or is my biggest format. Yeah, still not invented by you. Not inv no, exactly. A lot of people ask that. No, like, this is important. I did not, not invent this saying. It was known for years and years and years before Liam started doing content. It's weird because uh, like a couple of days before I did it, I was just like Googling stuff because I had quit my job as a basketball player and I wasn't desperate, but I was like, I need to find something that's like quite consistent. <laughs> So you were desperate. <laughs> and that I can always like reuse this format. Yeah. And it's always like fresh. Yeah. And um, I found, I saw a picture. It was like a picture meme, like in Germany, we don't say. Yeah. And I can't remember which one it was, but I was like, okay, that's quite funny. And I just thought it like, it linked the theme so well. Like first you got a British or the English part which is very naive and like it's very optimistic yeah and then you got the german part where it's like okay back to reality dry yeah a bit dry a bit dry and direct <laughs> but some of the sayings here are just funny like it's so much like more creative than english ones i would say i actually i did prepare something you prepare for this topic oh, okay and when i did this i mean i am german so i'm used to our sayings but sometimes i was like how is this even a saying in English? It does not make sense at all. Like, where is this coming from? <laughs> uh -oh. You will, you will, you will, you will see. You will see. I might know some of them, right? You know, I think you know a lot of them, to okay. be honest. But I did prepare German sayings. Yeah. So if you're up for it, you can then try and translate them one to one, maybe first. So the literal. What it would be. And then okay. we can see what it actually is, what the English saying would be. Equivalent of yeah, it, isn't it? That's okay. the word I was looking for. <laughs> Equivalent. Okay. Ready? Yeah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's so American. Pow, pow, pow. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. You know what? One of the listeners said it is actually, they use the podcast to uh, learn the language. Because your English is actually very, like, Bad? clear. No. <laughs> clear. Clear. That's why I keep saying, like, I think your English is very clear and easy to understand. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. You know, it's weird because uh, a lot of people have been saying, please do it in German. But then a lot of people are saying, Boom. oh, it's really helping my English. So it's like... Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> We can do two episodes each week, one in English and one in German. The German one will be very short, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> one of us got a crack. And I did propose, before we started the podcast, I proposed a segment where, like, a bell goes off in the show at some point in the in podcast. The show, in the show. Ooh. In the show. Yeah. There we go, Liam. <laughs> and uh, from then on, 
I have to speak German for like five minutes or until the bell rings again. Yeah. I propose this and you shut it down. I shut it down only, hear me out, for your only English speaking community because they would then understand not a word for five minutes. And I thought that is quite bad for them. Yeah. If you listen to a podcast, if I listen to a podcast in German and at some point they started talking, let's say, Turkish for five or ten minutes, I but, would just sit there but, like, when is this part over? If the podcast was called In Turkey We Don't Say, I know you might expect it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know where you come from, and I feel bad for everyone you know who can't listen to the podcast just because they're not having enough English skills. But yeah, I just feel, you know, I feel bad for the English-speaking community. We'll, we'll try and throw in some German in there. We won't give everything away just yet. We'll say we've got some tricks up our sleeves. Maybe everyone's got a message us saying like, "Well, everyone understands German anyway, so just do it, and then we can change it." I'm open. Okay. Ish. Back to the game. <laughs> Back to the game. I just wanted to forward the compliment. I thought it was nice. Yeah, thanks. That people... people have been saying your English is very good as well. Thank you. Just want to I let... do a lot of mistakes. I just don't care. <laughs> so there is there is the secret. That's the way to go. Exactly. There is the secret. Just yeah. you know the mistakes. I hear the mistakes, but I just don't care enough. Fake it till you mistake it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so first thing. Yeah. Es schüttet wie aus Eimern. Es schüttet sich wie ein It, Eimann. Wait, what? What did you just say? Huh? Was that bad? It was nothing like what I said. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, good. Oh, wait, so I was just so happy about my joke about the fake it till you mistake it. I was so confused <laughs> what you said. You were not focused enough yet to yeah. understand German. <laughs> See, that is the problem here. Okay, again. Again, German saying... Es schüttet wie aus Eimern. Es schüttet wie aus, aus Eimern. Eimern. Yeah. It shakes like a snowman. Eimer. <laughs> Eimer. No, oh. A Schneemann, a snowman. Where's the snowman coming from, Liam? <laughs> it's now. Look, look outside, it's raining. Yeah. I mean, we're oh. not quite there yet, but... It's raining. Ca no, it's... But schüttet, is that not shaking? It's Schütteln. Um, It's schütteln. Not schütteln. Schütteln and schütteln are two different oh, things. No. Oh, no. <laughs> so the literal translation would be it... It's pouring it's out of buckets. You were out so of far away from oh, that. Eimer. Eimer. True, I knew Eimer bucket. was bucket. I don't know where the snowman came from. Okay, so it's raining cats and dogs would yeah. be the English. And that does not make sense. Why cats and dogs, Liam? You said it is so more creative in German. No, it makes sense. There's a bucket full of water and that is how it feels like it's raining. And in your version, it's cats and dogs. Is it because there's a lots of, there's lots of cats and dogs in the world? I don't know. Is raining? That... When are cats and dogs falling from the sky? I don't sky? know. Someone's going to have to clear that up because I don't know. I thought, I mean, I knew the saying already, but I always thought, why cats and dogs? Hmm. I don't understand. It's raining cats and dogs. Es schüttet Sich wie aus Eimer. Es schüttet wie aus Eimer. Oh, es, es schüttet wie aus Eimer. Maybe you, I, you don't know as many as I thought you would. <laughs> I've never heard that one before, actually. Sure? Next video. Okay. <clears throat> whiteboard? Is there someone who could put that on the whiteboard real quick? <laughs> okay, the next one. Ein blindes Huhn findet auch mal ein Korn. Oh, yeah. Ein blindes Huhn findet auch mal ein Korn means... Huhn. Yeah. Wait, literal translation. Yeah. A blind chicken always finds the corn. <laughs> also sometimes, right? Auch mal. Oh. It's like... Okay. Also finds the corn. A grain. A grain. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> Just corn. Close. <laughs> Better than the first one, to What be honest. What would the English even be? I didn't know the English one as well. Have you got it there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just preparing something and then I leave everyone not knowing the answer. <laughs> Do you actually not know anything about it? Um, like, no idea? No clue? A blind... No. No. Okay, I'm not going to say it. Okay. Or it's too offensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is, every dog has its day. Every dog has its... I think I heard it, but it's not that good. It's not as good as the German one. Yeah. For sure. I, I don't know why it make Like, it doesn't make sense to me again, but... Every dog has its day. Yeah. Apparently, usually they don't, <laughs> as it seems. Okay, third one. Third one. 
Was Hänschen nicht lernt, lernt Hans nimmer mehr. Uff. Oh, I want you to pronounce that so badly. Was Hänschen nicht lernt. <lacht> Again, who? Hänschen. <lacht> Hänschen. 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 Wer Hänschen nicht Was? kennt. <lacht> Was Hänschen nicht lernt. Was Hänschen nicht lernt. <lacht> ja, lernt Hans nimmer mehr. Lernt Hans in immer mehr. Lernt Hans nimmer mehr. Oh, lernt Hans nimmer mehr. <lacht> I was just looking forward I've for the Hänschen. No What's Hänschen? Hänschen? Hänschen is like the cute or young version of Hans. Like we do that, don't we? Like Lisa and Lieschen. Oh, it's like a spitz. It's like the no, no. Oh, no. Verniedlichung, we would say. Like okay. Hase und Häschen. Like Mausi. M Mäuschen. Mäuschen. Oh, there we go. Exactly. It's like the mouse or it's Mäuschen. Okay. Verniedlichung. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling with this. Shall I translate it? But yeah. What, what young Hans doesn't learn, old Hans won't. That is like, okay. you know, what young Liam doesn't learn, old Liam won't. I mean, isn't that the same in English? Or is there something similar? Is it? What I would have a different one. You don't? I do. Okay. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Oh, yeah, And that true. makes sense. That is a good one. That makes sense. And I prefer that one to the German one. Okay, so I it's 2-1 yeah. to one. the German sayings. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Do you keep track on this? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep track. Okay, 2-1. Two two one. One. I mean, in our opinion. Not that people I mean. think that... Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Fair. Okay, the next one. Ein Unglück kommt selten allein. Ein Unglück kommt selten, selten allein. Yeah. A uh, misfortune doesn't come alone. Yeah, one disaster seldom comes alone is my translation, but I guess it's similar, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Got that one then. Okay. Good. Well done. I'm <laughs> proud. Uh, oof, I don't know what the English one is. I'm a bit... I don't You're really not know good with English, English sayings, sayings, are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm just full on with the but, German. But to be fair, I don't know if these are common ones because I only looked for the more common German sayings and obviously I don't know how common the okay. or popular they are in English. But it is, it never rains, but it pours. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's quite a known one, I think. What are we going to give that? To Germany or England for that? Mm, I mean, I like the sound of the German version. What are you saying? What was it again in German? Ein Unglück kommt selten allein. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like the English one. You do? I think we're going 2-2. Mm. 2-2. Two, two. Mm, two, two. Yeah. It's 3-2 then, because England was down. Yeah, exactly. So I'm giving it to England. Are oh, you, you're, oh, oh you're you are you are having England? the final say. Good to know. Okay, oh, no, it's wait, fine. Wait, you no. want to give it to Germany? I would have given okay, it to Germany. Three one. Oh, one. look at you. Go on, next oh, one. Now I feel bad. <laughs> mm, okay. Is that a forecast for the Maybe score? Maybe we do a three two. It's like one each. Like they both get it. For <laughs> which score? <laughs> um, okay, next one. You know this one. Probieren geht über studieren. Probieren geht über studieren. Yep. Practice. Makes perfect. That, oh, that's what I just thought English would be. Oh, no. Practice before you study. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Practice so many over levels. studying. Well, are you trying to translate it or do you think that's the, the This the is English the literal thing? translation. <clears throat> yeah, trying beats studying. Okay. But I think it's similar, isn't it? What you said. About practice makes perfect. No. The Apparently... The uh, uh, saying in English is, the proof of the pudding is in oh, the yeah. eating. Do you That's know a, that, that one? That is a good one, though. I, th I, like I that. think that is a good one. I was laughing Say when it again. I read that. The, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. It's a funny one. Yeah, okay. It's we'll a that more relatable one, I think. It's more, you know, attracting. Three, two. Next one. Wer A sagt, muss auch B sagen. I've never heard that. Wer A sagt, muss auch B sagen. Who, who says... Me. The one who says A must say B. Yeah. Who says A also has to say B. What is that even supposed to mean? Well, it's like, if you do one thing, you have to live with the consequences. Okay. Okay. Um, As if you haven't heard that. No, I'm in shock. I'm not sure about that one. Okay. What about... Oh, no, I like... Oh, okay. What's the... Uh, you you, you got to know why I picked this one. Should I say it? Yeah. The English one. In for a penny, in for a pound. In for a penny. <laughs> And now you can tell everyone why I picked this one. There's a guy in the UK. He's a presenter called Stephen Mulhern. Uh, if you know Anton Deck, they're like Yoko and Class, basically. Yeah. 
uh, in the UK. And there's a guy called Stephen Mulhern who also does the presenting with them sometimes. They're probably the three biggest like yeah, presenters. comedy or like or funny comedy, presenters. Yeah, 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 for sure. And he has a show called In For A Penny. And uh, yeah. Liam forces me to watch that. It is very funny. It is very cringy. It's a specific type of humour. It's a very silly humour. <laughs> very silly. And whatever you're thinking now, it's going to be a bit more silly, but in a funny way. Yeah. It's a good silly. But but we love that saying, in for a penny, in for a pound. penny, in for a pound. We, so, we love it because I think he uses in for a penny, in for a grand. Yeah, because you, you would win it. You have to have a penny to enter the, the game. competition. Yeah. And if you have the penny, then you can win up to a grand. Yeah. And he always makes the like, in for a penny, in for a, and yeah. then makes the one saying it. And so many people say pound because <laughs> of this saying and not yeah. grand. And then he's just like annoyed, like in a funny way, annoyed, obviously. Okay. So three, three. That, that is the that best saying of all time anywhere one. in England. Definitely. I think England should get two points for this saying. Wow. That is my favorite saying. <laughs> Okay, the next one, whoa, the next one you know as well, wer rastet, der rostet. Yes, wer rastet, der rostet. I've used this before. Yeah, video. it's your hiking who, video thing. The one who rusts, roasts. <laughs> the one who gets rusty, no. gets roasty. No, <laughs> who rests, rusts. That, oh yeah, sorry. It's not roasting, there's no roasting in this. <laughs> the one who rests, roasts. Liam just it. wants to roast someone. <laughs> No, rusts, not roasts. <laughs> Rust. Who rests? Rusts is okay. the one-to-one -one translation. Okay, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> you're getting there. Yeah. People might be a bit shocked about your German, <laughs> like, quickly translation. That's such a fraud. I know, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought you would know this one by heart. I haven't done it in a while, to be fair. That is true. But, um... What is the saying in English? Uh, sleeping dogs lie. Did you just make that up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that is a saying. Oh, okay. But it probably doesn't fit the same. This. Well, the one I found, you might be right, but I don't know. The one I found is a rolling stone gathers no moss. Oh, I haven't sense, heard that though. one. That is, that is a cool gathers... one. Okay, yeah. I mean, but... I like the German one because it's short. Yeah, German but... wins that one. But you have to consider like the picture you get with the rolling stone gathers no moss is maybe yeah. easier to remember eselsbrücke we would say I like, but i like the yeah the rusted, the it's short and sweet isn't yeah, it rusted, the rusted, the rusted. Yeah. okay four four three okay. to germany <clears throat> the next one that's us zwei dumme ein gedanke <laughs> us in a nutshell really dumb and dumber <laughs> <laughs> two wait zwei, zwei dumme ein gedanke so two idiots one thought yeah, I would say two fools, but two fools. one thought. Two fools, one thought, yeah. And what do you... Oh, yeah, this is this is the stereotype, I think, of how English... How you present England and Germany. Really? Yeah. Do you know the actual saying in England, in English? No, but I, just what came to mind was you kill two birds with one stone. That is a different saying. Yeah, <coughs> it doesn't fit. Mit einer what, so what would the English be? Great minds think alike. Ah. And I like this one because... The English version is so positive yeah. and nice. And then the German version is like, zwei dumme ein Gedanke. Yeah, it feels like <clears throat> it's making fun of... It feels like two completely different meanings. Well, but it does say... the th Like, we would say zwei dumme ein Gedanke if we would both answer something, let's say, silly at the same time. Or just like, if we would say something at this... Like, you know... Yeah. We would say zwei dumme ein Gedanke. And I feel like great minds think alike. But that's if you like, had a good idea. Say, and you're like, oh, yeah, great minds uh, think alike. Yeah, so, exactly, yeah. Okay. But we would probably, yeah, I'm not sure if we would actually say zwei dumme ein Gedanke then. But so, I like the positive vibe. But it's a, t so we're going with England for this one, yeah? Okay. So then it's a tie going into the last one. It's 4-4. Four, four. Oh, you made, that, that's why you decided to do it. Okay. What? I don't know. I just feel like with the meaning. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be not sure about the last one. Then how to decide? Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, last not sure one. if you know this one. In der Not frisst der Teufel fliegen. In der Not frisst der Teufel. Teufel. Teufel fliegen. Yeah. Teufel is. Devil. Devil. <laughs> that's why you did it with one hand as well because I did it with one hand <laughs> trying to show the horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, In der, der Not. In the emergency, eats the devil flying. A birds. 
No. Smaller. Think smaller. Smaller animals. Vliegen. Are... Yeah, that's it. Flying. Flies. Oh, flies. <laughs> In der Notfrist der Teufel fliegen would translate to in hardship the devil eats flies. That's the literal translation. Yeah. <laughs> Those question marks around your head like there is a saying. <laughs> It's not. <clears throat> There are two sayings in English you could use for okay. this. Any ideas? You're no. quite bad with English sayings. Yeah, I, am. I wonder if that is because you moved here 10 years ago or because your family really doesn't use any sayings apparently. <laughs> I don't know. I need to do more research into English sayings, I think. <laughs> Maybe. I've given you some inspo here. So it is um, either beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yes. That's a very com common one. And it still didn't... No? You, you couldn't? Okay. No. Or it's um, it's any port in a storm. And I like oh, both. You, yeah, I thought that might be a bit like an old school one yeah. because it refers to like... Oh, I do like beggars can't be choosers though. Same. That's a good one. I actually like both because it makes, to me, it makes more sense. <laughs> like it's more, you know, re relatable. Yeah. Like I would vote for England on that one. <sighs> I don't want to say it's it, but shame. I might I as well. I feel like with other sayings, <clears throat> Germany easily would have won that though. Well, feel free to bring in the, the best German sayings next time then. <laughs> I like the German okay, sayings, so though. Okay, so we know England's got some good ones, too. They do. You just don't use them. In England, we, we say. We say. Not we say. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah, we say. We say. <laughs> we do that now when we actually speak, that sometimes we overdo the accent and we Thank say you. we. Yeah. Because well, I think when you said wrong the other day Yeah, in the I know. Video, I did. You I said, know. like, wrong. I know. <laughs> I've heard that as well. And every time when I leave wherever and I come back home, I message you saying on the way. Yeah. <laughs> like I literally message on the with an S. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of do. feel like if we're doing that, like if I'm off work for too long and we do that like on a daily basis, then I struggle when I'm in, in English co English calls at work and I do say the or the. <laughs> But I don't want to like make fun of people doing that. No, but you my, make fun if I do it. <laughs> yeah, my accent in German's not great. And at the same time, I actually think it's not bad if you have an accent. Because I, I see that online a lot when uh, Germans speak English. Um, I actually haven't had those comments too much. But a lot of people are like, oh, you can hear your German accent. Well, yeah, surprise. I'm German. <laughs> What are you thinking? Like, why wouldn't I have a German accent? Yeah. But you, you do see that a lot on comments when Germans speak English, like, oh, the accent. And I was like, yeah, why not? Like, where's the problem here? <laughs> <laughs> it's, even, it's like uh, when I just post like pictures, like do, us doing like normal things. Then? On like a selfie or something. Someone will always comment be like, that's so German. <laughs> Yeah. Like, what? You look so German. That's what everyone says. And we got, uh, there was a time where we got a lot of comments like, she looks more English and he looks more German than the other way around. I'm like, what is even the, like, how? Yeah. How do I look English or you look very German in, like, a <laughs> selfie where you can't see anything really? Yeah. There you go. That was good though with the saints. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned yeah. something, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> I have to brush up. Didn't you? We wanted to do like tongue twisters next time. Yeah, I'm a bit scared because I will be bad in it with English tongue twist. English tongue twisters. Ooh, you already got you it. See? You already oh, twisted you there. And I looked up tongue twisters already in preparation. <laughs> like not the English ones, the German ones. German ones for you. And I was struggling saying them fast. I was like, oh god, that's gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, so okay. we get the tongues. So, yeah, tongue twisted. twister next time. Yeah. You can report on our Mallorca experience if yeah. we go. And you can... Ah, no, it's probably the next time that you can talk about your hiking trip. True. So okay, that that'll be good. Mallorca trip. and tongue twisters next episode. Great. Sorted. Maybe we do record the podcast in Mallorca and we do tongue twisters in Mallorca Ooh. just after Balaman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to go well. <laughs> joking we're not gonna take all of this equipment <laughs> we have to save money so we're not spending much money on bags <laughs> nice. nice that was fun yeah thanks for listening thank you very much everyone and we will hear and see us we've got a video podcast now yay 
So yeah, you can also see this. Unfortunately, if you want it. a lot of people wanted that. So or a couple, a lot is probably a bit too much to say, but <laughs> a couple people asked where yeah. to see the whole video, and it is on YouTube. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, I'm looking outside and it's raining, so I can't wait to go to the stables now. After I've been at the stables yesterday and came back soaking wet. But wir sind nicht aufs Zucker. See ya. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye.